a tale of two governors. You have one guy who's a run-of-the-mill political hack, and of course he was trying to use his office to raise money for his campaign. I mean, that's what these guys do. That's business as usual. But he even tried to get a little ambitious and sell the Senate seat that the incoming president of the United States was going to be given up. And the entire task force of the U.S. attorney went after that politician. They forced him to resign from office. They arrested him. They tried him. And they put him in jail. That was Governor Rod Blagojevich of Illinois. And you know, he's a perfect example of operating from playbooks in the 50s. I mean, please, get a little better educated and hang out with a classier set. Now, that's a guy who could have used a few lessons in etiquette from Governor John Corzine. Now, he comes from Wall Street. And not just anywhere, he's Goldman Sachs. John Corzine didn't have to grub around for campaign contributions. He did it with dignity by using his own personal wealth to become governor. And then he used his position as governor to drive his state deep into debt because he knew his good friends from Goldman Sachs and Wall Street were in the business of debt. They make money from debt. The more debt you have, the more money they make. And the more debt he piled on the citizens of New Jersey, the more money his friends on Wall Street made. And totally legal. So there was no U.S. attorney investigating him. There was no arrest, no trial, no conviction. And when he left office, they popped the champagne corks for a job well done. Now that is how we do our business.